Now, when Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860 on a platform of preventing the extension of slavery into the West, the southern states felt that their way of life was threatened by his election, and they seceded from the Union. Since many states, including those of New England, had talked of seceding from the Union at various times in the antebellum period following the Revolution, explaining the secession of the southern states is not, in my opinion, a major historical problem. We can fairly easily account for why the southern states seceded. What is more difficult to explain is why the northern states cared. <laughs> why, why not let them just go? Why was the North willing to go to war to preserve the Union? It was not because the North was bent on the abolition of slavery, at least not at first. Many Northern whites, of course, were opposed to slavery, but what they were especially opposed to was the extension of slavery into the West. Northerners were opposed to the extension of slavery because they knew that slavery would create a society incompatible with the one they wanted for their children and their grandchildren, who they presumed would settle in the West. But this was not the only reason why the North cared enough for the Union to engage in a long and bloody war that cost Northerners several hundred thousand lives. To fully understand why the North cared enough to resist the secession of the Southern states, we have to go back to the Revolution and the ideas and ideals that came out of that Revolution. Lincoln's words, which have aptly been called his sword, were crucial in sustaining the struggle to maintain the Union. I think Lincoln captured what Americans were thinking better than any president perhaps ever has with his words. With these words, he reached back to the revolution to draw inspiration and understanding of what the Civil War meant for the nation and, and, and for the world. He knew that the revolution, he knew what the revolution was about and what it implied, not just for Americans, but for all humanity.